everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing a very hyped TikTok product. I'm sure if you guys are on TikTok, you have seen all the rage on this Kat Von, not Kat Von D, KVD Beauty Good Apple Foundation. It is just like trending everywhere. And the gist of it is that it is extremely full coverage, cream foundation that is actually hydrating and has some skincare benefits to it. So this is not a foundation for those of you with super oily skin. Flat out, let's just get that out right now. It doesn't say it is either. It's not oil controlling, it's not a mattifying foundation. It actually says that it is hydrating with a, um, a natural finish, I believe. So this is not something for those of you with super oily skin. So if that is you, you might wanna just X out of this right now, or if you just wanna watch and see how it goes, then fine. My skin is, it's kind of confusing to be honest. I don't fall into the oily category and I'm not super dry. I am what I call dehydrated. And if anything, I lean towards dry, but I do have some very oily areas. So for me, I will get shiny on my forehead, kind of the T-zone. I'll get shiny around my nose and kind of around the mouth area, but I will have flaky areas on my forehead as well. I will have flaky areas on my cheeks, but I'll also be breaking out at the same time. I have like a really great kind of skin, big pain in the A. Um, and for what it's worth, I am 35 and um, I have acne prone skin. So you'll see, I definitely don't have perfect skin as we go into this application. Savannah, what are you doing? My toddler is in here with us because we just... Okay, that is definitely not for Savannah. I do my chin. Do you want to come here and show mommy what you did? Come here. I might have to just keep this in the video. Okay. Sit on my lap. Let's show everybody. Okay. Can you see? This is eyeshadow all over. Okay. That's just great. All right. Well, this is just how I have to do it today. She was supposed to be in school, but she was teething. Okay. So with that being said, it does have a really wide range of shades. I will keep it down below. And I believe it's retailing for 38 US dollars. Pretty, pretty, you know, standard for a foundation um, at a high end price point. As far as a cream goes, it's hard to kind of compare. It is 10 grams, 0.35 ounces. Um, for that $38. It is vegan um, and it also is cruelty free, I believe. Um, I do want to touch a little bit on if it's clean. So you guys know I'm on that clean train. I really prefer to use clean beauty when I can, but that doesn't mean I only use clean beauty. Um, my thoughts on this when I looked at the ingredients was I didn't see anything too bad. And on Sephora, it doesn't come as clean as Sephora, but it is without a lot of harmful chemicals, in my opinion. It doesn't have a ton of different things. So, oh my God, she's using a beauty blender all over her face. Um, so I will include that call out here of all the ingredients it doesn't include. So in my opinion, this is not classified as clean, but it is a much better option than some other things on the market. Um, yeah, I guess that's all I really have to say. As far as the skincare benefits, I will say, I don't personally think the skincare ingredients that they have in it are anything, you're not really gonna get much out of it. Like it's not like super potent skincare, it's like apple extract. I don't really know what the studies are behind like if apple extract is truly like some revolutionary skincare benefit. So with that being said, I would kind of like not take the um, skincare benefits with too much of a grain of salt or actually, I would take the skincare benefits with a grain of salt, but if you're looking for a full coverage quick to apply foundation for normal to dry skin. This might be totally for you, but we'll see how it wears throughout the day. I've been playing with this for a few days now. Some days it wears really nice on me and then some days it gets really shiny. So let's just see how, how it goes today. So hopefully this is helpful for you guys and um, let me know if you've tried it and what, you, what you've been thinking. So, all right, I have to go wash my child's face. God bless me today. All right, we're in here filming with a two and a half year old. So this. Is uncharted territory. We don't know how this is gonna go, but all I got, all I have on right now is skincare with the sunscreen and my brows. No brow gel or anything else. No concealer. Nada. So let's go right into this. I always use um, this big fluffy brush at least for the last long while. I will do a split face, like using a sponge on one side, just because I know people like to know how that goes. I don't typically feel like this foundation needs a damp sponge because. It's hydrating, so it already is really hydrating without a moist sponge, so I can imagine using the sponge might be a little much overkill unless you're ultra dry. So you need such a light amount, guys. I literally barely tap into this. Barely. 
I don't know what's on my cheek <laughs> over here. <laughs> All right. And the other day I used this and I definitely went a little more. Like I put a little more than I certainly need it. Mama, do you want me to turn off the commercial? Uh, I said commercial. You want me to bring, bring mommy the phone and I'll turn it off. She's watching nursery rhymes. Because otherwise there's no way I'm getting this done today. She was supposed to be at school. We're, we're dealing with two year molars, so it's not easy. Nobody got any sleep last night. Yeah, you gotta be real careful. Like that was, it's hard to see because the color match is pretty good. Um, I put self tanner on last night. So if you've been following me on Instagram, I was saying how once I put self tanner on, this is gonna be like a perfect match. And I was right. So, oh, he went to get to my hair. Okay. Mama, what are you playing with? You guess so? All right. That is a very sheer amount on my cheek. So you can still see, I don't know if you can see, but you can still see a little bit of discolor. Let me see if this is a little too bright because I do have really good natural light right now. Let me try to adjust the lighting a little bit. It might go really dark. Yeah, it's too dark. Hold on. That's a little bit better. So I don't know, I can't see right now, but here I still have some discoloration, so I will layer on a smidge more, barely touched it, and just tap it on over those areas. And I'm not putting it on my eye area because I don't like wearing, it's a new thing, this is a new thing. I don't like putting foundation and then concealer over it. I'm finding it's really cakey and it's just making you look older. So as you guys age, <laughs> Really don't put foundation and then cover it up with concealer. It could be a little overkill on your eyes. On the rest of your face, fine. But on your eyes, don't do it. Okay, so that's how it looks with the sponge. All right, let's do the other side with the sponge. Looks nice. Looks nice. Here we go. Looks nice. Looks nice. Oh my God. This, I could just tell. I don't know. This might be too much. Like too much for moisture reasons. Yes, you spilled your water all over the floor. Because I'm tired. No, you're not tired. Mommy's tired. Okay. I mean, it it applies really nicely and really full coverage considering it's a sponge. But unless you're really, really dry, I don't think this is going to be good. Again, I'm just gonna layer up a little bit over here where there's some discoloration. One little pounce, barely. Why don't you do the dance? Stomp in the forest. There you go, that's much better. Okay, that is what the foundation looks like. This side is our brush and my preferred application for this formula and then over here is the sponge. I think it looks equally the same. I just fear that with the added moisture from the water, it's gonna end up being way too hydrating for my skin type. So I'm gonna go and finish up the rest of my face. I am using this new Tarte Shape Tape Ultra Creamy Concealer lately. I really like it. So I'm just gonna pop on at the end once everything's on and kind of give you a recap of what I what I put on. So this is what I did for the rest of my makeup. Um, pretty basic everyday look. Uh, my brows, as usual, beauty counter, medium brow pencil with the medium brow gel uh -oh. to kind of fluff them up a little bit. Yes, we have a two-year-old in here watching Cottontail. Oh, okay, uh, listen, just leave it right here and you can watch it. Uh, I'm sorry, this is just how, how it has to get done today. All right, and then um, on my eyes, I actually have been playing with this custom MAC 6 pan shadow palette. These are OG shades I... Orig like these are shades that I wore when I was in my 20s. It was my first MAC like set ever and I just repurchased these shades and that's what I'm using today. I just figured I'd take it back to old school MAC singles that I made myself. So um, I believe it is Orb, Orb is this one or Brulee, Naked Lunch or All That Glitters. One of these, I don't know. You can't tell, that's the annoying thing. Um, it might be All That Glitters actually. 
Then we have soft brown. I think this is saddle and bark and carbon black. I'm not using carbon black. I use all the other shades though. Um, my mascara is always, all right, well not always, but most of the time, the Thrive Cosmetics oh, mascara. Um, my highlighter is Ilia, the liquid highlighter, just a little bit on the top of the cheekbones. This is Mommy's. The bronzer, this is also Mommy's, this is all Mommy's, I gave you stuff. My bronzer is the Ilia Drawn In Night Light Bronzer, it's the lighter of the two. I'll go right back. All right, you be right back. And then my blush is Lawless in Angel Swim, a peachy color. For lip, I have two things. I have Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, and then I actually have been playing around with this new um, sunscreen lip gloss from Suntegrity. It's in the shade Creamsicle. It's really pretty. It's like a shimmery peachy. So I really like it. You can even use it like just as a topper. Um, okay, oh, and duh, I talked about the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Is that it? Oh, I did set the under eye concealer a little bit with the Cover FX translucent powder. Just around the concealer, a little bit here on my nose, but I left the rest of the face no powder because I want to see how this foundation goes. So I'll get you a little closer to kind of just see. This is the um, brush side again. And then this is the sponge side. I don't feel like they look much different as of right now. So we'll see how it works. I'll check back in at the end of the day. Hello, we're back for the final check-in. Sorry, I'm sitting on a towel. Um, it is 9.02 p.m. By the way, when I applied this, it was around noon today. Um, I don't think I got a chance to mention it with the chaos with my toddler. So sorry about that. I hope you found it funny. <laughs> um, but I try not to film with her around just because she's a toddler and she gets into everything. But it was just one of those days where I really wanted to get this recorded and she was here. So anyway, um, as you can tell, my skin is a little shiny. Um, for me, I expect any foundation to break down around my nose. That will happen. I don't give a SHIT what foundation it is. Even a Stay Lauder Double Wear would do that. So that's just how it is with me, even with a little setting powder. Um, but if you look at the rest of my complexion, it's a little worn off on like my acne. I have some breakouts on my jaw always around here a little bit. I did go outside for like an hour long walk today. I played outside with my daughter for a long time. It was a really nice weather here in like the, I would say low mid sixties. Um, I know I did not have to wear a mask at all today. I didn't go anywhere. We were just home hey, playing outside. So that was kind of what my day looked like. So nothing too stressful or intense. Um, and as you can tell, there is a lot of shiny breakdown here. So like I do with a lot of these foundation wear tests, if I did one of these, if I had actually touched up, because that's the other thing, I did not touch my face all day long. And if you remember, I also didn't set my face at all. You know, maybe if I, okay. I'm in a place where I'm kind of transitioning of not powdering my whole face anymore. I'm finding as I'm, getting a little bit older, I'm 35. When I do powder my whole face, it does not always look really nice. It tends to make me look older. So I have to find foundations that can kind of do okay setting on their own. And this one did, but I do have just like a lot of different things to say about this. So right off the bat, number one, I played with this foundation for a few days before I filmed this wear test because I wanted to work with it a little bit. And the, the best day that I wore this was the first day and it was the only day that I wore it without my normal mineral physical sunscreens. I have two different mineral physical sunscreens that I wear. One is by Drunk Elephant and the other one is by a brand called Suntegrity. Both of these are mineral and physical formulas. It's one of my normal sunscreens and I wear these under foundation all the time. The one day I tried it, the first day I tried it, it was three o'clock in the afternoon and I just wanted to just put it on because I was so excited. And I only used the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream for extra dry skin. I'm gonna assume it's just because it wasn't like a sunscreen formula. That day, it applied and stayed on my skin the nicest. I don't know what the correlation was, but I, it obviously suggests that the skincare you use before it is gonna affect how it wears, and that's a no-brainer, but it is something I noticed for sure on myself. Um, the second thing is, I think this, 
sponge side doesn't look as shiny. This is the sponge side. I don't know if it's going to show much. And then this is the brush side. I feel like it looks a little cakier here, especially like in here. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but it's weird because again, all the days that I have been applying this, I applied it with my foundation brush and I love this foundation brush. But I think the problem is you have to use such a small amount of this foundation that it might be tricky for some people. You can easily go overboard and I might have went a little overboard on this side today or in general, I don't know. Um, the sponge looks pretty. And you know why I also think the sponge side might look nicer? Is because it is so easy to go so overboard that a sponge typically absorbs excess product. So maybe the sponge side looks better because it did alleviate that extra um, moisture in the foundation. That's what a sponge does. It basically absorbs the extra moisture and leaves the pigment. That's what, in, in essence, it's supposed to do. So shockingly enough, maybe the sponge is a better option to apply this particular foundation from what I'm seeing. As far as the other claims that this foundation has, it says that it is fast, lightweight, full coverage. Yes, 100% my initial impressions of this when I did my TikTok the day that I tried this on my, um, I did it on my TikTok and I did it on uh, IG, store, IG Reels. I, that was the first thing I noticed, how fast I was able to get full coverage and it felt really lightweight for sure. It has a fresh matte finish. Yes, when you first apply it, I like that term fresh matte because it's not flat matte. It has like a little bit of a radiance to it. Like it doesn't make you look like you're wearing a matte foundation, <clears throat> but it certainly is not dewy. It says it minimizes the appearance of pores and gives the skin a smooth, healthy look at first. When I first apply it, it does that. It makes your skin look incredibly be like flawless but if you have excess oil by the end of the day it can look cakey and then that doesn't look nice <laughs> um, and then it makes your pores look bigger because it's looking cakey um, it says it's non cakey I don't agree I think if you apply a very little bit maybe you can get it to look not cakey or if you have perfect textured skin but I do feel like it looks a little cakey Flashback free, I'm not sure. I'm gonna assume so. Who do I think this is for? I think this is for somebody who has very dry skin or moderately dry skin and wants full coverage. But you also just have to be really careful with how much you apply. That's all I'm gonna say, which is good because a little goes a long way. So this will last you a long time. So even though this looks like not a lot of foundation for $40, I think it's gonna last me a long, long time. Um, I also think this is not for the person who likes what's the word like I do feel like this kind of gives me the vibes of like I'm applying concealer as foundation that might be amazing for you that might be like oh no thanks like I'm the type of person that although I love full coverage I believe that you should put on foundation first and then conceal the extra with concealer because the skin looks more natural that way and you can get full coverage that way it's just a couple different steps this to me is I almost feel like I put Tarte Shape Tape all over my face as foundation, which some people do. And you know what, no hate for that, but I'm just saying that's the kind of coverage you're gonna get. And it might feel like that at the end of the day. This is a great bad skin day foundation, um, but do I think you need to run to the store the second it gets restocked and buy it? I don't think so. I think the right person might love it. This isn't going to be like your everybody loves this kind of foundation. So be very specific about what you're looking for in your foundation and if you think this is going to be for you based on your skin type. So with that being said, I'm not going to return it. I like it. I enjoy it. I will use it on days that I'm not having a good skin day, but I don't know if I'll be using this throughout the summer when I'm more oily. <laughs> So I don't know. I, I hope this wasn't too confusing. I feel like it's confusing, but it's nine o'clock at night and I have to go to bed. So anyway, thanks for watching and please let me know if you have any questions about this that I didn't cover. That's it. I'll talk to you guys later.